It's season one. The Atlanta Haluchas are back. Yup, it's Fizz Stardust, and you're watching the Atlanta Haluchas Network. Um, so this week I'm playing the San Jose Sharpedos. Um, my team matches up pretty well with Tom, and, and actually, um, he brought the team that I thought he would bring, um, Sans, uh, I thought he would bring Black Kiram, but he ended up bringing in, um, Star Raptor. Um, this match was really long, um, we actually timed out, um, I'm just gonna prepare everyone for that, um. I'm gonna do my best to narrate this uh, quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it fast. I'm gonna speed it up, and hopefully we can all enjoy it. Um, the team building process uh, this week was pretty simple. I just thought I had a lot of things that matched up well with his Pokemon. Um, but what I didn't really think about is how well um, he was able to counter those. I thought that um, I would have the upper hand most of this match, um, but. Uh, Tom made some good plays. He made uh, good picks, good items, good move sets on his Pokemon, and we had a really good match. So uh, let's get started. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna lead off with Bronzong. He's gonna lead off with Star Raptor. Star Raptor is gonna go straight for a U-turn. Um, at this point, for that U-turn, I was like, "That's not a band. He's definitely a scarfed." And he brings in um, Sizer. Uh, I'm worried, like, this whole time about knockoff coming, and so I switch into Gyarados, get the Intimidate off. Uh, my whole plan with Gyarados is don't Mega Evolve until you absolutely have to. Um, that U-turn comes off, and while I resist and I got the Intimidate off, that damage goes, that's not banned either. Uh, so that's weird. Uh, Clefable goes straight for a Moonblast when it switches in, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to go with Magnestone. He, I know he's not going to stay in a Flash Cannon, so I'm going to um, Volt Switch out here. Uh, you know, it's a safe play, safe play. Uh, Venusaur comes in. Um, I don't like it. I don't like Venusaur at all. Um, but I go into Reuniclus. I know he's not going to stay in, so I'm going to just uh, fire off a Shadow Ball. Uh, which is able to do a ton of damage to this Latias, um, just under half, but uh, it was it was huge. So I go into um, Sylveon. I mean, the Defog is has to be coming, but I'm playing it safe here, um, doing it right. And I know either Venusaur is coming in or Sizer is coming in, so I just fire off HP Fire, which did a lot to Venusaur, given it hasn't Mega yet. Mega Evolves here on my Switch into Reuniclus. Um, my Reuniclus has Overcoat this week. Um, I didn't want to take a Sleep Powder. I want to have a dedicated Switch into uh, Venusaur. I fire off a Psychic here. It doesn't do much to Sizer, but what are you going to do? I'm going to go into Bronzong. He has no reason to do anything except for U turn there, so Bronzong is the play. Um, is that Alex Alakazam comes in here, and I'm saying Shadow Ball all the way. So I'm going to go into Sylveon, eat this Shadow Ball up, nom nom nom, eat those leftovers up, nom nom nom. Uh, he's going to have to switch out though, and um, I actually don't know. Oh, I double switch, um, which is pretty solid. I go into like my little pivot dude, um, Magazone, who's able to Volt Switch out on this Venusaur, and I can go into Reuniclus. Um, he leaps Siege, and now he knows that I am not Magic Guard, which actually would have, would have been really handy because I saw his video earlier, and I know that he is not carrying Sleep Powder, which was I I was worried about the the whole game. I was like, all right, I'm Sleep Powder, I'm Sleep Powder. I don't want anything asleep. I didn't think anything could afford being asleep in in this particular matchup. Um, so I go into Bronzong and Clefable. I know Moon Bass Blast is coming. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a fire move, but I have to protect to see if he has it. Um, and he does. He does have flamethrower. Um, I'm actually heavy metal Bronzong with heavy slam. This fire, uh, flamethrower does a lot of damage. 
So Heavy Slam also does a lot. Uh, I know he's going to be faster than me. Um, Brong Zong's at really low health and is really important in this matchup. So I protect here to get a little bit of leftovers. Um, and then I know right here I'm going to have to switch out. Um, I'm going to switch out into Sylveon and take everything that he's going to give me. The Flamethrower doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm going to be able to set up a Wish. Um, I think he switches out here. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Uh, Venusaur comes in. I don't want to take a uh, Sludge Boy. Uh, so... I set up the wish, and I know that this is a free back into Bronzong, and I can just uh, get him the wish. He'll be at, like, full health, and that's so good. Um, I'm lead seated, and he's going to switch out into um, Sizer, and I switch out into Reuniclus because I'm predictable. <laughs> um... But I, I just didn't see a reason not to be at that point. Um, I give him Gyarados again to get the Intimidate off. Take that U-turn again. Um, now, if the rules state, if you stay in long enough to Mega, you have to Mega. And I actually never got that out of opportunity in this game. Um, switch out into Bronzong on... Um, I almost just called him Brave Bird. On Starter Raptor. Um, Sizer comes in. Um, I think I protect on it. Um, I'm really worried about the knockoff. Uh, I know that he has it, and I'm certain he's not banded. So I'm trying to gauge what the fuck item Sizer has. It, and I didn't know the entire game until I asked Tom afterwards. So I was like, what? What item <laughs> is Sizer? And he actually had Scarf. And ha if I had known that at any point in, in the game, my mind would have been at ease. But I was certain he was able to switch moves. Um, so uh, you'll see me protect on Scyther a couple more times. And I'm just like, he's going to knock off me. Why wouldn't he just knock off the Bronzong? That makes so much sense. Um, but he never does. Um, so Reuniclus is in. Um, at least he, this, this, uh, you know, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, um, I'm really weirded out, because I just watched Tom's video, and it was reversed, so I was like, whoa, it's weird seeing it from my perspective, perspective now, um, the fire off Shadow Ball, again, I knew he wasn't going to stay in, um, and it, Sizer took a lot of damage, but then he took some Leech Seed health, and now I have to switch out, and I have to switch out into Gyarados, Who's a monster? Oh, I made Gyarados a little bit bulkier. I um, I took some of his speed away, so he would outspeed Alakazam at one boost. Um, and then I gave him a bunch of HP. Uh, I take a Brave Bird with Bronzong. Um, Brave Bird with Bronzong. Alliteration is fun. Um, I'm going to protect here to see if he does it again. Uh, he just switches out. so um, And then I'm going to protect a Hunsizer because I'm like, he's going to fucking knock off, right? He's got a knock off. Um, but he just is U-turning, um, which makes sense. He doesn't want to um, get trapped if he does knock off. Because if he does knock off, yes, I am trapping him. I went Teamy, ma <laughs> teamy, timid Magnazone um, with uh, speed enough to outspeed um, max speed adamant sizer. So uh, if he did knock off my Bronzong at any point, I would trap it. But Bronzong is so important to this matchup that, um, you know, I didn't want him to just take a fucking knockoff. Um, a heavy slam here, get a uh, pretty useless crit on um, Venusaur. Um, he did earlier crit my Bronzong with U-Turn, which was uh, huge. Um, and it really sucked. And um, had he not, I don't know, I would have been happier. Um, there's not much I can do. I'm, I'm seated by this thing. Um, I could try and heavy slam it, but it's going to be faster. I go to Uruk. Reuniclus, he giga drains. Um, 
and I get some HP back, which is nice. Um, he's going to switch out, and that seems like a smart thing to do. Uh, I, I recover here because uh, Reuniclus is probably the most important piece on my team for against Tom right now. Uh, he's going to go for a wish on Clefable, and I get a super lucky psychic crit on Clefable to knock it out. Like, whoa. Um, Sizer, I know I can take a U-turn, even if it's banded. So I stay in, and I go for Psychic because I want to kill it. Um, I take the knockoff that I was fearing uh, so much earlier. Now, I go into Sylveon, this Shadow Ball. Um, normally, I eat it, but he crit me, and it put me in a position where... If he gets a high enough roll on the side shock, he can two shot me um, instead of uh, a three hit KO, uh, which I Eevee for. <laughs> I uh, I Eevee'd so Alakazam's um, side shock would not uh, two shot me, but get that Shadow Ball crit, and then after leftovers, I was not in range where I could take another one. So that sucked, but you know that's the that's the game. Them's the bricks, man. He goes for Giga Drain on my Reuniclus, and that's fine. I just go for Psychic. Um, he goes for Giga Drain again and, and takes out Reuniclus. Um, at this point, I can finally work in Terrakion. I didn't feel like I had a spot where I could bring it in before. I'm not gonna bring it on Sizer. I'm not gonna bring it on Clefable. Uh, can't bring it on Zam. Can't bring it on Staraptor. Can't, I, like, I couldn't bring it on, like, fucking anything. I was like, dude, everything, like, either does not take damage from it, or, uh, is possibly faster and could knock my shit out. Um, this Focus Blast hitting this Magnezone really sucked hard. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Um, and at that point, the battle was over. Um, because time had ran out. Um, it really sucks that time ran out. It was super close at the end of the battle. Things were picking up. Things were getting knocked out. Things were happening. Like, the first 90% of the game was, like, uh, like a feeling out period, ship damage, and all that stuff. And it was a drag. It was a drag that, um, that, that time ran out. But because time ran out and I was 3-2 um, ahead, the uh, winner is the Atlanta Holuchas with an S on the end, man. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks, Tom, for a good battle. Um, sorry that this was in double time to anyone who watched this. Uh, I didn't want to put in... <sighs> Uh, I mean, just now, that was 12 minutes long. The video, the raw file of the video itself is mm, 21 minutes. Um, that's crazy. Uh, so anyways, uh, good game, Tom. Uh, I'm sorry time ran out. Uh, it's not how I wanted it to happen. I understand that there's some issue where uh, the protects t do take a lot of time, but I didn't intentionally waste time or stall um, or anything like that. I thought they were all pretty important. Um, all of them had a purpose um, and I feel like mattered. Um, and none were with the intention to run out time to win that way. That's stupid. If anyone's watched me play, I hate playing Pokemon, period. But I hate playing it for a long period of time. I hate stall games. I hate it a lot. So it would never be my intention to stall at a game like that. And uh, I would rather have a five-minute match and upload a three-minute video. So there it is. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, thanks for everyone for watching. I hope that uh, you continue to follow the Atlanta Luchas and they're your favorite GBA team for the rest of the season. Uh, we're starting out 1-0. A win is a win. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Vin Diesel is your hero. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Peace out.